हेलो इन्वेस्टर एंड वेलकम बैक लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एस एन डी एल स्टॉक इट इट्स बीन अबाउट आर वीक सिंस आई हैव टॉक अबाउट दिस एंड आई वॉन्ट टू गो थ्रू माई प्रिसिटिव और वॉट आई हाईलाइटेड इन द लास्ट अर्निंग कॉल दैट हैव वॉज कवर्ड आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट द लेजिस्ट्रेशन दैट द पोटेंशियल वॉट कुड बी हैपन द कैस्ट लाइफ इफ एनी दैट आर कमिंग अप फॉर दिस इज दैन देन वी नीडेड टू टॉक अबाउट द रिवर्स स्टॉक स्प्लिट विच वुड बी ऑन अबाउट जुलाई फिफ्टीन आई वॉन्ट to tell to tell you why i picked that date and let's get straight into the it you are new on the channel be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and thumbs up the button to that that gave me a thumbs up on the last sndl video i really appreciate it now the last time i did a video i talked about how from the technical perspective this will be oversold and i was looking back here at the last time i was oversold on january 24 so there is o at oversold on june on the four chart are on daily chart they showed oversold on may 12th so the right here i was like i think we are at the peer fear peak fear i think we have good news we are only got two days until we have an earning coming up i want to make sure that you know that this was an opportunity to take it and if you wanted to take it if you are looking to exit your position just wait for day or two more because people were tapped out in this area right here this has been painful so you either once you know that this was a gonna be postponed you said that the stop loss and you know there was a blackout period you were looking look i am not coming back it until there is a peak fear this was an opportunity to take that 20% game and it wasn't uh, that genius but the entire market was really just been getting plumped lately now you can see this volume spike here we have had a volume spike back here in the volume spike and the you can see the contribute to the spice now the between when the volume chart to be die you can see that the it's starting to do now you know we get downward pressure then things are not looking good for the micro from micro micro economy standpoint i mean there are justify bad news coming out continuously the fed is going to be offloaded and the balance sheet june i mean this company is going to be reserve stock floating i mean that exact pretty much announced this is not this the last and he call that just happened but one previous previous to the this and even through there wasn't been an official announcement he might as well as but the last take to look at the earning and call transparent because i want to show you something that have concord i don't know this this went all the well all rights i am going to go through this assuming that everyone listen to the quarter 1 2022 earning calls wanted to talk about the few things really stood out me number 1 the acquisition having acquired and the guidance that we are expecting had no impact on the share price it's look like analytic actually need to see the number down to appear 8q2 there is so much manipulation happening i mean how does to not give us some kind of bump in the share price this was up just pretty surprising that there was not a positive response on growing margin and higher quality i mean zac was a pretty excited about the matching this up against anyone in the market i think i know why the market didn't respond positively and we talk about this is in a just a moment now the e-commerce directly consumer strategy private label meaning they can they take their product put in the can they anybody and can like it's their own put their own brand on its so private label opportunity there they have looking into the it looks like they are going to have a get another in june of their circle of it i don't know if this is a cluster where there will be some of e-commerce and direct consumer strategy that come out this that we get notify about but one thing that we can celebrate is the nova value bucks banner and that has been providing doing extremely well and if you listen to their calls they have a room to grow they plan on opening more stories i believe it was 9 to 12 i did a video in the previous what i didn't hear about this call was that a gro- growth for spiritually so i am not sure that what happening with there and with what i would assume that the last thing that jack said in their not looking to aggressive grown that 
portion of now this investment portion was not impressed to me now the 17.7 million of market table security this was an investment loss so the little number of there are not carried away by looking at 1 billion dollar or whatever they tried to put the slide of you know want that their taco was from the investment so they went to explain this and the analytic asked them to q and a portion about village farm international i thought they was really interesting i believe this taker symbol vff would should you watch this one and give rising interest rate geopolitical terminal the industry oversupply price comparison saturation in the market and the equity valuation having been under extreme pressure i mean this is a lot right hot right i mean this was all bad news right but given the growth respect positive to this stock right you cannot to put your money into a stock that you believe is going to be grow because you want money is to grow which is known for is this good news in the call is not going to shoot a great and the candid nation candian market who was trying to be stabilize and down wide down and it's look like it's basically gonna look different over the next 12 to 24 months so there are more things that have been to happen for this sector is really slow down i mean slowing down not not good for this is to wind down but they did talk about their balance sheet and they would did some slides that take positively about their balance sheet but i think they were need to make a company look better because 2021 they act like they had a comment and they didn't yard when they were doing their comparison but i will show you that in a just moment so i don't like multiplication of figure for to get people excited possibly so i have fully you are able to see through what they now the share repurchase program this was happen really interesting that the sundial to sell put option to enhance this program now this very interesting session and this comment below i did not hear what you have to say about this now of course if you recently the company recently sought approval from albert and the ontario security commission to enable sundial to sell put option to the enhance this program taking about the share repurchase program so this is really interesting and obviously this will be a republic knowledge and it's look like they recently sought approval absolutely legal put but are basically blating against the you know observing those share if you are forced to buy them so i ended the video if you like the video please subscribe the channel and also press an bell icon for the future update thank you